I'm working on quite a large canvas. It's an A1 size. So that's approximately 84 centimetres by 60 centimetres. And what I'm going to do, I've got a lot of leftover paints, um, lots of different colours, rainbow colours, other colours. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to cover the canvas with Mars Black, so a black base. And then I'm going to layer my colours in almost like a swirl shape. I've marked it out on my canvas just so I can, so I don't forget what um, composition I'm going for. So the idea is to lay all the colours in the in the swirl shape, and then I'm literally just going to blow it out like a Dutch pour, just to kind of see what I can create. These are all leftover paints, so everything is mixed with paint and water only. Um, I don't know what to expect. But I'm really excited, so let's go. What I'm going to do, I've had to mix up a base coat, um, but I'm using all my other leftover paints. So I'm going to lay the black base down first and just have a bit of fun. So I think I'm going to, let's go at the top first. So, this is the this is the design I'm I'm going with, and I'm just going to puddle paints all the way along, blow the black in, and off we go. So, I've got a little bit more black left. So I'm just gonna go around the edge, just so I can have some black to blow in. I've got the Prussian blue that side. 
a little bit more black. Okay. We'll be ready for some fun. go so I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to blow this bit out here and then come down and then pause have a look and then carry on Wowza. Wowza. Woo! I'm going to take you in for a close-up. Okay, so I need to touch up the sides here. But, oh my goodness. Right, apologies for the glare of the light. But look at this. just a burst of colour okay, if I turn the other way so this colour is gorgeous oh, I hope it dries really well oh I hope it dries really really well I really love it okay I'm going to tidy up my edges and what I'm going to do is I will take you in hopefully for a dry version look. Okay I really didn't know how to show how amazing this piece has turned out. I'm so proud of this. Um, so this is just hanging on one of my walls just to kind of demonstrate to you the how it's dried and, and the colours but I'll just go in for a closer look. I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I just hope you can see this detail and how some of those colours really pop and shine through. Just really, really gorgeous piece. I'm so, so happy with it. I love that I just kind of used up all my paints, used all my colours. I was really worried that this section here would get a bit muddy, but it really hasn't. You know, the gold and the orange, I think, work really well together. And some of that finer detail just love 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 this piece what do you guys think I really love that section up there 
I've been sat here admiring it with my husband and we can see so many different things in this piece and yeah maybe if you if you can zoom up on it and have a look have a look at that detail I wish I could I just wish I could show you what I can see in real life I'm hoping this captures a good viewpoint for you so like there I don't know if you can see but I can almost see like a squirrel or a little kitten with the two two white paws white nose ears and a bushy tail just there I don't know if you can see that and then Sean could see a face in the blue section up there almost like a um, like a skeleton anyway I'd love to know what you think please let me know in the comments below and yeah I love it thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon take care bye